Welcome. In front of me is a Techno Pova 6 Pro, and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Before I get started, I do want to quickly mention that you can see that the phone right here is locked for me and I would need to draw the pattern to unlock it or use the Google account instead. Now in this process, I'm going to first show you how we can bypass this and then completely remove it as a second process, which uh, the removal is the more important part. Uh, now for this, we will need a uh, SIM card uh, that is actually functional. So we can send a message to basically no one. Uh, so the card needs to be functional, but there is no real reason other than for us to be able to just attempt to send a message. But anyway, let's go just get straight into it. So we're gonna uh, either go forward or go back depending on where you are. If you're at the beginning of the setup where you get to choose the language, uh, then go forward until you get to the Wi-Fi connection page and sign into your network. If you're already at the verification, uh, verification page, then back out like I just did. Next, you're gonna click on the QR code right here for your connected network. I am gonna hover my hand as it does show a uh, obviously network. Okay, there's no password, but you can see there is the QR code. Now you want to click right here on the nearby, continue, allow, and then select need help sharing. And from here, you're going to click right here on these three dots and select share article and choose before you actually choose anything. Let's quickly pop in our card. Okay, there we go. And pop out the tray. There we go. And then pop it back into the device. Okay, so as you can see this, uh, I just put in a pin to unlock the SIM card. So now we're gonna select a message new message uh, in the two fields just slap in any random numbers they don't need to be real next we're gonna select the pasted in article and we're gonna get rid of it and now we're gonna type in youtube.com though if you want to follow it up first with www that come now uh let me quickly explain why you want to put in the extension right here it is important as if you don't do it uh, on some of the devices, it, when you try to open this link, as when we send it, it will create a link. Uh, this will create uh, or allow us to open up YouTube through the link, but it will open it up in this pop-up view instead of in its full form factor. So anyway, I'm gonna select send. And uh, as you can see, it didn't even succeed to send this message to this number as it's not real, but that doesn't matter because now we can click on the link that we have created. And now we're gonna select Open URL. Don't allow. And there is our full, full-fledged YouTube open. So now what you want to do is click on the account icon, navigate to settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. And agree. And this now redirects us to the web browser. Next, in the search bar, you want to type in hard reset that info slash bypass. Like so, if you need a moment, do pause the video. Next, uh, scroll down and you'll find settings up. You want to open it up, select open. And the, this will redirect us to the phone's settings up from the browser. Now, um, I do want to also clarify something. So we're going to be, uh, we're already on the settings, which we will utilize later on. The reason we're not going to be utilizing uh, same thing that I'm going to be showing later on is because the device is still in a setup process. I do want to kind of stress that. So right now, uh, even though we're in the settings, uh, the device, for all intents of purposes, the device still thinks it's in the setup, uh, on the setup page. So anyway, from here, we're gonna navigate to app management. 
right over here and then up a list and we want to turn off first Android Auto select disable disable up and for stop then go back select the second option or the third one which is Android setup select for stop go back and then scroll down lower to Google Play services and here again disable disable up and for stop and then go back and go back once more and once more to the main settings page and now we will need to enable uh, accessibility menu which will be I believe in here special function uh, accessibility and there we go accessibility menu toggle it on allow and got it okay so we basically have turned off and disabled uh, three different applications enabled the accessibility menu and we're good to go so what you want to do now is just start backing out now i am gonna again hover my hand as the qr code will show up once more and couple clicks there we go there's the qr code again as you can see and let me just close it there we go so there was a bug arrow right there so once the this is closed we're just gonna progress now forward again and in a second after we select the option to don't copy give it a moment it is uh, really trying to do something here finally we're gonna select don't copy and now comes our bypass uh, first like the bypass portion so what you will see is that the device is right now checking for updates glitches for the like just a sec and then goes back to checking for updates so now what we're gonna do is utilize the accessibility menu we're gonna select assistant then the settings that shows up sometimes here no let's try that again there we go and you want to select the enable button now for me it only took me like what four tries about or maybe five uh, it might take you uh, more tries if you're struggling with this just try to like spam all of these options really quickly as, as when they show up so when you click at uh, the accessibility uh, assistant uh, you can already like pre pre top the area where the settings will be and then if it just kind of does any kind of sliding just start to pre-top somewhere in here to try to select the enable option uh, now once it's enabled it actually stays open so you can now go back and it should go to the next page there we go without actually checking if the device is locked so right now we can finish up the setup give it a second again now uh, when going to the setup right now just choose whatever is quickest for you and uh, if you can select skip So we're now almost on the home screen and there is one last thing that we will need to do to now fully unlock the device. So let's just wait for this to actually load our home screen. There we go. So uh, before I get any further, I do want to now clarify something. So uh, we will be now going back to the settings like I mentioned before and we're going to perform a factory reset of the device. Now the reason we didn't do that before uh, when we opened up the settings is like I mentioned before was because the for the device's knowledge it was still in the setup stage 
Now when doing a reset through settings, uh, when the device is set up, the device just kind of goes check, checks if uh, there's any kind of screen lock, which there isn't right now. Uh, if it's set up, and it is, and when doing the reset, it just removes literally everything. It doesn't really care about all the data, which also coincidentally would remove the uh, the one that would protect this device. That was the screen lock and the Google account, which is still present somewhere in the uh, on the device. So just scroll down all the way, select system, and then scroll down again, select reset phone, erase all data and get at least for me blocked by the battery percentage which is 30 percent and i have only 16 so i can't go through it but you just select erase all data twice and this would perform a factory reset of the phone now you do want to really go through this as right now if i'm correct yeah you can see we can't actually unlock the device normally so you have to do something like for instance open up a camera and then close the camera application. There we go. Uh, so just bypassing the Google right now it still has some wonkiness to it. So you do want to perform a factory reset of the device like I showed you to fully unlock the device. This will take you back to the setup screen, at which point uh, you can set up your device in whatever way you want as it will be fully unlocked. Now, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.